Once in a while, you see that balloon that just got away, and the question is, where does it go? Many end up in parks and desert areas, and now a Las Vegas teen is on a mission to collect the remnants. 8 News Now reporter Mary Jane Bellesa met up with him at Tule Springs to show the impact on our environment and our wildlife. What goes up must come down. So with the Desert Balloon Project, we, I go out and where most people don't hike. With every step and every turn, Christian Daniels is on the hunt for mylar balloons. Desert tortoises mistake them for flowers and they'll eat them. The desert tortoises are already endangered with the constant building and loss of, loss of habitat and predation. And the mylar balloons just cause another disturbance with them. Daniels first started the Desert Balloon Project in early 2020. With a love for wildlife and the environment, he also picks up balloons and trash along the way to keep our desert clean. Having hiked over 900 miles, he's collected over 3,000 balloons so far and counting. They are everywhere. There's another one. There's a blue one right there. Just within the first 10 minutes of our hike, we already found six mylar balloons. Most of them stuck in between trees and bushes like this with the strings wrapped around the twigs. It doesn't really matter where we go. We can, we can just go somewhere and we'll find them. Although mylar balloons are made of nylon, the foil layer can conduct electricity and even cause power outages. Desert tortoises also aren't the only animals impacted. Birds and bighorn sheep can also get tangled up in the strings. There was this one guy, he sent me a photo and like his pet donkey uh, actually ate a mylar balloon and it died from it. Despite hiking all over the valley, Daniel says he can't get every single balloon by himself. He hopes others will join him on his cleanup and help spread the word. It brings me like a lot of joy to educate the people.